last but not least, the fire escape. Um, that comes in a separate kit. The fire escape does not come with this particular kit. But let's look at how, imagine that laser art does their fire escapes because it's very, it's very interesting. Uh, it comes in a separate package. You get four fire escapes. They all come on a laser cut sheet, which I've uh, just painted already. I painted this one just um, Rust-Oleum Camouflage Brown. That's uh, what I do most of my iron fire escapes. Um, and it also comes with a fixture, an assembly fixture, to help you put them together. So I've knocked out the, the ladder. Very simple. Cut those off. Right. And then it's always difficult to get these to hold them in place while you glue them. But this assembly fixture makes it incredibly easy. It's got two slots in it. You just put the ladder handles in the slots. Take your glue. Now I found this uh, Faller Expert Laser Glue, um, which is basically a white glue, but it's got a needle applicator for, which makes it very simple. Just gonna put this along the edge of the, the handles for the fire escape. Then we take the ladder, which it is cut out, and drop that right in place. And the fixture helps hold the handles at 90 degrees. And there you go. Now for the for the main portion. Just two tabs holding on each piece. Cut out the top railing. Pop out the bottom. Now I always keep the, you always want this opening in the same configuration. I mark two lines on my fixture so I know which way it goes. And I glue up the bottom. It's got three tabs on here. Glue on there, slots right in, and the fixture helps hold it in place, hold it at 90 degrees while you put all the railings on. Laser cutting so precise, they just leave a couple little tabs on there so there's very little um, cutting that you have to do. And let's just pop right out of the frets. Okay, so you can see, put that last piece in place there. The jig holds it in a nice 90 degrees uh, while the glue sets up. I'm using, a, as I mentioned, a Faller Expert laser. Um, the good thing about this glue is that it uh, sets up fairly quickly. A lot faster than uh, regular just craft white glue. And then once, once that's done, this just pops out of the fixture. Make sure you don't, because you did get a bit of glue between the fixture and the fire escape. I want to make sure I don't. Bend the walls too much. I'm gonna knock that out. 
And then that's your fire escape. You just have to add the last two pieces. You also get the brackets. The brackets go on the wall to help support the fire escape. As you can see here, I've added the brackets onto the bottom. Mount the fire escapes to the wall and then just a bit of glue on each end of the ladders and put the ladders in between. And I still have to put one ladder down here at the bottom. Um, it goes up on a, on a bracket in there. 